Considering the importance of this place and the amount of people visiting, the Aegis Trust, together with other partners, came to realize that there was a need of increasing the size in terms of education facilities. We planned on doing a first phase, the construction of four classrooms and an amphitheater that would help us fundraise to reach to the second phase. The second phase will be the, the completion of the Center of Humanity. The vision for the next 10 years at the Kigala Genocide Memorial is that the projects that have been taking place here, the documentation, the research, the impact on policy and education, will be run through the Global Centre of Humanity based here at the Kigala Genocide Memorial. These programmes are significant not only here in Rwanda at helping to develop social cohesion and greater resilience against atrocities at a community level, but the expertise that is being built up here can be applied elsewhere in countries where there is a higher risk of atrocities taking place. We have uh, this programme that is really innovative way of uh, teaching about peace and about promoting memory of genocide. We think that this is a positive message to give to the world from one. The Kubutsu Rubadiso Z, Munyashin Rwanda, Usura Mateka, Vera Chira, Kuzuru, Katuma, Umu, Utazineze, Nokoruha, Avanyan Gora Vazirikan of Java. Kandi Buria, Kuzirikan of Java, Nibjo with Tuma and Water in Hamgiva Ganimber. In Haburot, Kashora Kuganimber, to Tabanja Kuzirikana of Java. Hanyuma no gufasha na handi hose ibyo ngi ibyo byaba bigiye kuba kubafasha kugira ngo nabo ibya tugiririye nabo bitashobora kuba byarabiye For those who are victims we thank you for your courage we thank you for your love because your love is what transcends from here one doesn't come here and walk away with anger or bitterness but what we take away is the love of the Rwandan people that has enabled them to rebuild their society. Nobody who comes to this memorial site is ever the same uh, when they leave. The international community uh, is determined to stand with the Rwandan people in the same way that our guides today uh, have, were themselves 13-year-old boys at the time of the genocide, sorry, and they tell their stories so that diplomats like me, journalists, citizens, churchgoers, everyone in the world can know what happened here so that it never happens again in Rwanda and it never happens anywhere else in the world. I think it faithfully, honestly, painfully presents the truth of the Rwandan genocide. It is a profoundly important contribution to the ability of this country to go on with its life and the people to come together. And it's an important contribution to the recent history of the world that no one can afford to forget so that the mistake is not repeated again. We are all in debt to everyone who had anything to do with the creation of this magnificent museum and I urge those of you who can to see it and to support it.